Bottom of the first inning, still scoreless, and the Brook Hill School guard out of Buller, Texas. Just about halfway between uh, Jacksonville and uh, Tyler towards East Texas. Coming up to bat with a series lead in this best of three, 1-0 after a 3-2 win last night over All Saints. And Seth Moss, the center fielder. The sophomore leads things off in this. A slider that comes in from Cade Farr for strike one. Cade Farr, the senior Texas Tech Red Raider commit. The southpaw pitcher on the mound. He'll bat right, though, as you've already seen. The 0-1, the Seth Moss in a swing and a miss. It one down at the shins. And quickly jumping up 0-2 on Seth Moss. Five and one on the year, 39 and a third innings pitched, and a 2.49 ERA for Cade. This one fouled off right towards the uh, batter on deck, Connor Carson. 55 strikeouts to 28 walks for Cade Farr. He sports a fastball that's uh, listed by Mike Failer at about 90 mile an hour. More on that here in a minute. The 0-2, and this a little slow roller over to second. A.J. Mandolia scoops it up and over to Matt Teeting at first, and on three pitches, Seth Moss goes down. One away, bottom of the first, still scoreless. Number three, Connor Carson. But Kate Farr, uh, that fastball, along with a slider and a changeup in his repertoire. According to uh, the head coach over there at Fort Worth Christian, it was scouting All Saints early in the month of March, brought his uh, radar gun with him. As in steps in Connor Carson, and the shortstop fouls this one off and over the grandstands for strike one. He registered that, and he looked over to me, and he tipped his cap a little bit, and he said, uh, 95. So, Kate is still growing at six foot seven. And the 0-1 with one away, swing and a miss as he pulls the string. Strike two on Connor Carson, 308 average for the freshman who had a brilliant game in the one game playoff in the area round, an 11-3 win over Frisco Legacy. He went four for four and walked. Swing and a miss on an outside pitch and that will retire Connor Carson on three pitches and the first strikeout of the day for the senior Cade Farr. Here comes Josh Jenkins, the catcher. And the senior batting 435, which leads the guard. One home run, 13 RBI, six doubles and two triples. And uh, Jenkins last night went two for three. Also reached on an error and came around to score in the first on that big three-run home run by Miguel Vega, who is currently taking cuts in the on-deck circle. And the opening offering from far. This one uh, down and bounces off the plate. A fastball for ball one. In the field, wholesale changes in the lineup, but that also means defensively, too, for the Saints. Logan Britt is in center for his second straight game. Will Shipman over in left. Cedric Bowman in right. That stays the same. A.J. Mendolia also still at second. As this one is a slow roller over to third, and there's T. Love, who falls down after making the catch and can't get enough torque on it to get it over in time. So an error for T. Love over at third base for the sophomore. And E5 allows Josh Jenkins to get on safely. Running at first base will be number eight, Cole Fitzgerald. And T. Love in for Andrew Bird, who got the start last night. Andrew Bird, uh, brilliant defensively, but has struggled at the plates in recent games. That brings up Miguel Vega, and he pops, one's up, pops one up to the right side, and it drifts well out of play. 0-1 oh to Vega, who last night did some first pitch swinging as well, and with two runners on, and Josh Jenkins and Seth Moss launched it over the left field fence. The 0-1 to Vega, this one down and low, and Vega holds off. That's the second home run of the year for Vega, 288 average, nine RBIs. His big claim to fame in this lineup is his patience at the plate as he takes a crack at this one, and this is fouled over our heads in the press box. But 15 walks on the season for Vega. 
One ball, two strikes, two away and a runner at first for the guard here in the bottom of the first, still scoreless. And the one, two was swing and a miss and it's a top third strike in over for the put out at first and that will retire Brook Hill in the bottom of the first. No runs come off of no hits. There was one error and one left stranded. Nothing, nothing in this game number two of a best of three series. Saints coming up to bat to lead off the second with their six, seven, and eight hitters after this brief time out here at Texas24.net on the Texas 24-7 television network. <laughs> 